day 427, attempt number two. Got halfway through the video, and then my finger selected something, it backed out of the video. So here we go again. <laughs> the day rating's a six. Got out, walked the pup, came back. I was a little unsure if I wanted to do a morning run or an evening run. So I sat down for about 45 minutes to an hour, thought about it, assessed how I was feeling, and then decided there's a good chance something will come up for the evening or I'll just push it off too late. Or if there's an NBA game on or dinner, I might just skip it. I don't want to skip it. I'm on a good streak right now. I think I'm on day 20. Two or 24, somewhere in there for days in a row. I need to double check that. I know I'm in the 20s. Anyways, I back to the run. I decided to go for the run in the morning. It was about, I want to say 8.45 by the time I left, so almost 9. And it was decided to go at least 5 or 6 miles. I said, do 5 or 6 in case the long run isn't there today. And I just had a such a hard time with yesterday. The race, I felt like I should have done a lot better with the amount of work and time I've been putting in. And I just was beating myself up about it all day. And all right, it was the first lap was okay. The second and third lap was mentally out of it. I just couldn't focus into race mode and mentally or physically. It just seemed like I was going through the motions and I that's never happened before, <laughs> especially for such a short race. Remember those longer races where you kind of daze out and you're like, okay, you've had a mile to recover. Let's let's focus in again and finish. And so the, the final lap was okay, but it just I don't know what it was. I just my body didn't feel like I was responding, responding, and my brain didn't feel like I was ready to take on the task at hand. And oh, it just it really wore on me all day. <laughs> so I was concerned about today. I said, let's just do five or six in case the long run isn't there. If the long run's there, great. If not, we're not going to push it. We're just going to let it be where it is. Be like a recovery run. And they got to mile two or three and I could feel my calf still a little bit sore from being in the spikes my hamstring hamstring still tight from doing a little bit more of a speed and then I still have this foot pressure I, I've had it for like three or four weeks now it just feels like someone's heels just on the top of my foot and some days it's there and some days it's not I'm not sure if it's the shoes or I'm really worried it's some kind of might be like a stress fracture, a potential stress fracture, and I'm just pushing it. And so I did end up getting new shoes Thursday or Friday. It's one of those days I bought some new shoes online. So maybe the new shoes will help. But I'm trying to stretch out my feet a little bit more, just almost do like talus crunches to stretch them out in case there's just extra pressure there that just putting tension on the foot and then yeah eventually it went away so I did the same long route in the sense that I covered the same the same course but normally I take I get to the canal I go up about it's just shy of two miles. Well, by the time I get there, it's about two miles. I mean, it takes a little while to get the canal. And so I take the canal, it goes through this little neighborhood. And after the neighborhood, you cross the street, and that takes you to a little golf course. After the golf course, you, get, you hit another canal, and you can either head, keep going east, or you can head north. And normally I head north, and I add on if, how I'm feeling later. This time I kept going east and it went about a half a mile. Then I went up a short block, turned around, and then came back to head north. 
And so let's just do that part first, and that way that little part that I need to add on is done. And so I went down another two miles, and I said, let's just get to the Kiwanis Park. We'll get to the parking lot, do a little U-turn, call it a day. But I got there to the park, in the parking lot, I was just thinking, you know, I'm still feeling good. It's only another half mile to three quarter mile to do the loop around the, the little pond. So I did the loop and it just felt great. There wasn't a lot of traffic in there, so I think it was starting to get warm out, which was fine. And then they the way back and it was like, hey, I'm still feeling good. I'm surprised. I was averaging 730s, so it was a little bit slower in some of the runs, but that's just fine. I just wanted to cover the miles today, and the long run should be a little bit slower than easy runs. And so I was just making my way back. It's probably the last four miles, three, four and a half. And I thought, wow, I'm just still feeling good. I don't feel too taxed. I don't feel too burnt out. And so that felt great. And it wasn't until the last mile and a half where I felt the sun kind of beating on me and zapping some of the energy away. Got a little bit of the dry mouth. But I finished and did 12 miles. It was right around 90 minutes. So I think the 7.33 pace was the average, which is fine. I, I didn't have a full goal for pace today. I just didn't want it to feel draining. I didn't want it to feel super taxing. And altogether, I was surprised. I just added up the miles. I did 48.3 miles. So I was really closing on that 50 that I was looking at, but I wasn't even planning on it. I thought if anything the race yesterday was gonna throw me off and then this morning <laughs> going with the easy to long run you know could have gone either way but I just kept kept going so that was great and then I hit my push-up goal for the week I wanted to get at least 900 because the last few weeks I was just doing 125 a day and I said, you know what, if I do 130 a day, I can hit 900. And I did 900. I hit the goal of 900. So just trying to add on that little bit extra day every day. And yesterday, again, it was a mental day. So I, I did 60 push-ups, and I just, I, I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm, I, I need to just not do anything else physically today and I, I just shut off like <laughs> I didn't want that stress so oh pop cam she's asleep little puppy he's a big puppy but yeah I, I said if I really wanted to hit that 900 old, I can figure it out Sunday today I just did extra push-ups I just did the first one 120 and 30 so 30 60 90 120 and I did 20s from there did I do 20 no I did two more sets of 30 that got me to 150 180 and then the last set I did 20 so it's the most I've done in a day <laughs> So it kind of feels good to kind of come back from, but the other part of me just says, you know what, I'm just thinking, like, let's put running aside for a bit and just focus on, on lifting right now. That way you don't have to compete. It's just putting time in still, fitness-wise, health-wise. Yeah, I thought today would be a good first day, especially since it's the first, especially since after the race. So maybe the 200 push-ups is just small window for that I'll see how I'm feeling the rest of the week but I keep telling myself I'm gonna go to the gym and I didn't do it this week and I thought about it Wednesday a little bit easier because the morning workout but I just said ah let's just save it for the race let's get through this week and just let everything go towards the race and let's not tax ourselves anymore that we need to so yeah 
It's been a weird turn of events. That a lot of mental roller coaster going on with how I'm feeling, and I think the last three track races have been mentally tough on me. So it's 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 been a lot going on in my head about maybe not do any more track races, maybe not do any more shorter races, just do five k's and higher. Or do I need to just add in more speed and just find days where at least two or three times a week I can just do sprints, either going up hills or just on flat ground, but I just need to start taxing my body in that speed realm. Because I, I feel like I could run for days right now. I feel so strong endurance-wise, but I just... Short of the race, I think I start questioning how fast can I go? And especially in those 1500 meter race, I didn't feel like I could tap into my full race pace. I felt like I started out 150, 200 meters in and like, okay, this is good. Got a good, clean, long stride. My arms are pumping well, my legs are, are rotating well, and then it just, it just froze up. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I almost wish I could have had video on it so I could kind of see, yep, I could see my form change there, body tighten up, lean back, or whatever it was. Just definitely something hit me and changed. But, anyways, it's, uh, it's done. Just got to go forward now and figure out what to do. And I definitely don't want to end on a bad note. I would like to walk away from any race knowing that I, I felt good and ran my hardest and the last couple of 1500 meters it did not feel like that I just felt stuck anyways um, enough about the negative stuff I'm happy I got into 12 I'm happy I got close to 50 miles for the week and I don't feel terrible I don't feel I don't feel extremely taxed about it. Like my legs are completely sore. Like they are sore, but they don't feel drained. And like I need a day off. I still feel like, again, I, I'm in the twenties, mid twenties for consecutive days running right now. And I think by this next week I'll be in the thirties. So I hit thirty-eight. And the following week. And yeah, it just. That was interesting. And after the run, I had a protein smoothie, which is good. I, it almost came out like a milkshake. It was just that more, a little bit thick, so I had to get a spoon to eat it. So it felt like a little snack afterwards, <laughs> a little bit of a reward. And then I showered up, got ready, played with the pup a little bit, and then went to Bookman's. I grabbed a couple little Spider-Man items for the spider-man panel we're doing in 26 days now and the original thing was to give out gummy snacks for getting right answers and we're doing this little trivia so ask a question if one got it right you get a little gummy snack and they said you can't bring any snacks in so the other plan i'm gonna get little goodie bags and probably gonna be doing like the price is right have four to five contestants play for a game Whoever gets the highest score, the most right, can pick the first prize and just have little prizes that trickle off from there. So I got a, one of the Pop pop um, Spider-Man figures. I got a little Spider-Man doll. It looks like something you'd win in a crane game. There's a couple of little Spider-Man things that I found. And then came back, had a little lunch. I went to Red Robin. I had a gift card, so just to use that. And then, yeah, came back, watched a little TV, hung out with a pup, went for a good walk. Just hydrated. I mean, by the time I ate Red Robin, it was five o'clock. So I had, of course, a ton of french fries, a burger, I got the guacamole, the guacamole bacon burger. And that was filling enough. So I just been drinking water and some Gatorade. Just trying to stay hydrated. Hydrated for tomorrow.
then did the push-ups and tried to add everything up for the day and the month. As I've been trying to get back into the board thing. And that's the board for the week of the month of April. 30 days in there. I need to put up a little mile time in there. Oh, that's changed. That was the mile that I did in the, let's say, 532. So that was the mile I was doing on a progression, not just an open mile, open 15. So that's probably down to like a 502 right now. Which I don't know why I can't get under five. I feel like I can, I just, I'm doing it wrong. I think I need to get out a little bit slower and then pick up the pace as I, my body kind of warms up. But then again, I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure out a way to get under five by the end of the year. But that's the day. I fell asleep a little bit on the couch. It's a little later. It's now 118, the pups. Definitely asleep. I'm ready for bed, so I'm gonna call it a night right there. So run your life with health and happiness, and have a good night.